you came Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend Somewhere along in the bitterness Hello and welcome to another video. To uh, Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak a PS3 with the 4.82 exploit. So basically you're just going to come to this link. It will be in the description. Select all three by control and clicking them and go up here and download so once that's downloaded you're going to want to make sure your USB is in FAT32 if not just format it change it to FAT32 package files copy these to the root of your USB That may take a few minutes. Everything in the put in USB folder, copy that. And when that's done, export this to your desktop or anywhere on your computer and make sure to remove your USB safely. This is just to make sure nothing gets corrupted and ensure that it works properly. Once you've exported that, just open it up and you're ready to go over to the PS3. Make sure your USB is plugged into the far right port on your PS3, the one closest to the disk drive. Okay, so now once you're on your PS3, just to be safe, I would go to system uh, all the way down to format utility and format system storage. If you click quick format, you will keep your account. So if you've got an account you don't know the password to, don't worry, you will keep it. So just click. This just in ensures because I did it without formatting before and I kept getting errors and this helped. After I formatted it, it just worked first try. After the format, your system will reboot as you've just seen. Right, so now you're going to come all the way across to Internet Browser and remember on your computer the IP that it was showing. You're going to want to enter this here, so just press start and type in my case one name two. Point oh point two eight. So yeah, I did that wrong. I put two eight, not two six. Out here, you're going to want to check the model number in the back of your PS3. Mine is a NOR because I've got a PS3 Slim. All all Slim models are NOR. If you're using a fat model, you are going to want to check and look at the version you need. You're going to get this message. Just click OK. Click 
right not flash memory and then give it a few seconds success now just wait for your PlayStation to power itself down shouldn't take too long although you might want to make sure it's not frozen by moving this around if it does freeze don't worry just restart the process and make sure USB is in the right slot It will say this, just let it do its thing. This shouldn't take too long, it should make it take a minute or so. And we are nearly done already. Yeah, that's that done. into your account and then go over to system update select update via storage media should say this click OK yeah blah 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 accept start Now this is going to take around 10 minutes, so just let it sit, go do something else, come back later. As your PS3 should automatically reboot. Once again, reconnect your controller and sign in. And it's gone to red. So now just go to Package Manager, install the package files, and this is the Rebug Toolbox. And that's installed. I'm going to want PS Ninja. I'm going to want SCN And then finally, Multiman. Multiman is going to take a little longer than the others, but it won't take that long. And then when that's done, you're going to want to go to SEN Enabler. Just press OK on this. Go to SEN slash PSN Enabler. That one. <laughs> if you have the latest version, you should be able to leave this on auto. Select Custom Spoof.
restart your PlayStation. Now if you go into the Rebug Toolbox and click System Information you will see that it boots to CEX. Some of you may want to switch it to DEX. I may make another video on how you can do that. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching and happy modding. Goodbye. Dropped him!